I've spoken about this somewhat recently, but I uh, just wanted to celebrate for a moment. You know, no longer fear, fearing death or painful life. Um, it could be really scary thoughts of, you know, certain times where it's like, holy shit, I feel like I've been drugged with the worst stuff and it's really horrible. Or thinking of the possibility of total oblivion and everything. It's it's scary, but like, I just like where I've gotten, you know, so much shit. I don't really have fears of anything anymore. I mean, there is no doing anything about certain feelings that will arise and everything. But I've gotten to the point where it's like, I don't feel like I have to give up on anything. And also, I'm not afraid of death. So it's like that good balance of being like, you know, I hope I live to be, you know, an old, old person. Like 90s, 100, whatever. And I hope there are, you know, not a ton of difficult things in there, but, you know, just things that build character or whatever are fine, but no unnecessary garbage. But, like, I want to live a long life, but I'm also ready whenever anything happens. I know when my life flashes before my eyes, it's not going to be... I will be happy that I don't have all of these occurrences where I was just treating people like garbage. There are going to be some things that come up likely to where I was scared because of others, but I'm not trying to fucking like toot my own horn too much, but I'm really, it's going to be, I'm grateful that there won't be all this just crazy guilty conscience, like whenever things... Because they say that really does happen. Even people that have near-death experiences, you know, you might have new experiences that are like mind-blowing, soul-blowing, but you're also going to... People experience that to where it's like things you've forgotten about, different things, or just early life events, they come up and stuff. And of course, if you shouldn't feel guilty about things very early anyway. So super early things, I mean... I'm not talking about you being a bully when you were a kid or something, but I'm just, it's going to be, there are so many mysteries. We don't know what the fuck's going on or what's going to happen or what this is a part of or whatever. But like whenever it happens to all of us, so like just to embrace it and everything and be like, yeah, I almost faced it on purpose once I gave up twice but the first time was a very close call and it was I got to that point where I was panicking I was like holy shit I don't want to die I don't want to die and uh, I'm very grateful that that didn't take uh, I have the ability now to do things and you know I can help myself and help others and I'm actually functioning properly for the most part and everything it's just good, again, just facing life. Be not being afraid to live and not being afraid to die is a very pleasant thing. Again, the other night when I felt that, when I was like, holy shit, I'm dying, holy shit, I'm dying. I hate that. It felt horrible. It was the scariest shit. Not because I was like, oh, my life is going to end, but I'm like, this feels agonizing. But yeah, still, like, overall, just the right way to feel and everything, just having sort of resilience and sort of a fearlessness about different things, just growing into whatever, wherever changing, and uh, we're just sort of learning as we go and augmenting ourselves as we see fit with, in different ways to be like, what can we do that's most sensible? What how do we take care of everyone while respecting ourselves and everything? Anyway, love, I hope you have pleasant times often. I hope you also conjure that willpower and, you know, make the life around you, make yourself your little bubble pleasant. Try to do the right things to feel well. Love.